Guys, welcome back. So, I'm going to tell you a wee uh, dollop and sea trout fly that's taken the old salmon too, but it was mainly tied for dollop. And I tied this about 10 years ago. That's it there. And I tied it for a guy up the, up the country. And um, he's done really well on it. But I wanted to show you it. Now, I'm probably not happy that I'm doing this, but I want to show you it anyway. Now, he calls it the, the Midnight Supreme. Um, I don't, know, don't know, I don't know why he named it that, but that's what he calls it. Now the hook in the vase is a Partridge Patriot double and black nickel in size 10. You tie these down to, I don't know, size 14. The thread I'm going to use is uni thread eight one black. So we'll just come in and get started here. A couple of mil behind the eye of the hook. Just run on about three or four mil of thread. Then just remove your waist tag of thread. The tag in the rib, I'll just show you. It's a, an ultra wire and gold, but you could just use a gold wire. The Vanyard's gold wire is really good and it's cheap. I'm just going to catch that in, bring it in underneath the shank of the hook, and then work my thread down, sort of way until I'm in line with the, the points of the hooks. Then I'm going to take five turns. turn bring it up and in between the two hooks. Now I'm just going to keep it in underneath and just run this up the run the thread up to end this in. Now if you've if you fish for dogging you'll you'll know that I have sharp teeth on them. So you want your fly to be strong and the seed trait will rip at the shreds as well so just get this out of the way now, the tail this is a golden pheasant head crests that have been dyed a fluorescent orange some people on the on the internet call it a, a solar flare colour I just call it a fluorescent orange now. I want the tail roughly to be around about the length of the body. So we're just going to take a couple of turns. I'm just going to check this. So I'm just going to pull it in a wee touch to there. And that's going to do me there. The body, you're just looking at a holographic gold tinsel. This isn't large. See, the holographic tinsels are dead easy to work with here, so there should be no lumps or bumps now. We're just going to come around with a nice square straight turn at the back, then just have a wee check to see where you're sitting. That's grand, and then we're just looking overlapping turns. this with your thread, a couple of tape turns, come in and trim away, then we can bring up the wire, and you're looking four turns of the gold wire up the body. Catch that in. Now the, what I like about the UTC wire is it's really strong. Catch that in. Then the wing. This is Finn Raccoon. It's been dyed black. Now you can see how straight the, the hair is. That's just because I've run it through a pair of hair straighteners. Now you don't need too much of this. Take what you think you need. So that's what I think that I need. And then I'll reduce that by half. That's better. clear out the rubbish. I don't want the see the guard here so I don't like them, I want to take them out. And then to 
and the hurl and all the rebuff. Now you just want the the wing to come on back to the the, the tips of your crease feather. So just hold that on top, come around with a pinching loop. Just take a couple of tight turns. Now you want this you want this to be sparse like this, you don't want it to be uh, you don't want an over an over you don't want to overdress it. You want to overdress the wing. Now at this point I'm just gonna take my thread down over the cut ends and back up. Then the flash you're looking some rainbow. This is just strands of rainbow light bright. Before I started using this, what I used to like a prism dub, something like that. Now, just going to come around with a turn, catch that in, take another turn, fold the the excess back, work the thread back up. Now, don't want it all in. So, just going to trim away the parts that will fold it back, then come in and just clip away the the loops. And that's your that's your wee wing. And see up there. Right, we're just gonna we'll just tighten up on this wee bit while we're here. The throat, you just look a natural natural guinea food fibers. Now if you don't have guinea food, and I've used it before too, when I haven't got it, use just weight. Or bodger, white or bodger, uh, hackle favors. Now I want this coming back, the throat tackle to come back to the tag, there are thereabouts. Just come up with a pinching loop, a couple of tight turns now. Just like the check this, so we check. Oh, that's good. Then we'll come in, trim that away. Check. Then we'll just come down over the cut ends, nice and tight, and back up. I mean, don't be shy of the head on this fly there, guys. Then just to finish off, we're just looking two small jungle cock eyes. So That's our two wee small eyes. Just get them sort of way lined up. Try not to pull them apart, which is what I've just did. So let's bring them back in. Start for these up to the the hook. Just hold them. Just going to come in with a couple of loose turns just to see what way we're. The way we're sitting here, I wonder has wanted to fall down on me. So just have a wee check, just have to check the, the length. Yep, I'm happy enough for that now. So I'm just going to come in, hold the jungle cock eyes, take a couple of turns heading down towards the eye of the hook, then just come in and fold these back. This is just to protect the, the jungle cock, it just means at this point that they'll have to. We'll have to break off the can't pull out nice and tight, keeping my thread tight. Should be able to come in and break these away. And then just come straight in with your whip finishing tool. Just forget everything else. And throw in a whip finish. Come in and trim away your tan thread. And that's the wee fly guys, dead simple. But I'll tell you, he's had some fish on that. Now, just a first coat on to the head. Just a wee drop of super glue. Now, you don't want this to get into your hair or your jungle cock. So, just take your time. Just super glue the head right the whole way right around. Once that dries, I'll come in. And just put on a couple of coats of varnish onto that. 
just to seal up more. To, it's more to seal up the super glue than anything because it will take a moisture bloom. So that's the wee fly there's guys. That's the, the other one that I tied. So I'm just going to put a half a dozen together here. So there you go. That's it. Dead simple. So hopefully you can tie a few of those up and be a fish fed algum or even see trout and hopefully they can catch you a few fish. As always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, all being well. I'll see you on the next one guys.